And on this episode of the Weekend Vlog, we are flying over the mountains. Well, as you can tell, I'm not in the airplane yet. I'm actually on my way to the airport right now. I just stopped and had some breakfast at the 10 cup coffee whatever place. Pretty good place to come if you're ever in Shafter, which I'm sure none of you are, but that's all right. So the plan for today is to fly over to Lone Pine, which is uh, a good bit north of here, and go ride my mountain bike. I don't know yet if the bike's gonna fit in the plane, but I'm pretty sure I can make it work. So uh, let's go find out if we can. I made it to my destination folks uh, pretty cool scenery over here it got very bumpy coming over the mountains on the last little bit but I survived and uh, it's also freezing over here so don't really know what I was thinking by coming over here but hopefully I'll be warm whenever I start riding so I got my bike all put together a uh, pretty nice sight with the airplane and a mountain bike and uh, it's a whole lot colder once you start moving around, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hot on the climb up. And uh, I'll probably be fine on the way down, I hope. So, time to start riding, and uh, see you all on the ride. Well guys, I'm leaving Lone Pine right now. Uh, those mountain bike trails were definitely not the uh, the most fun trails I've ever ridden. Uh, very sandy. There's supposed to be about 1,500 feet of climbing. I ended up getting 2,500, so not the type of surprise I was wanting today. But overall, mission accomplished, I'd say. Uh, I was planning on filming some more of loading up the bike in the plane, but kind of in a little bit of a hurry to get back because someone else is trying to use the plane. So, I'm on my way back right now and uh, I'll see y'all whenever I get there. So since y'all haven't seen the bike in the plane yet, here's a little clip of it. Uh, it's definitely not the most elegant thing, but it works. So I've switched vehicles on you guys. I'm now in the van on my way to Fontana for round number four of the downhill series. Obviously, I didn't get to practice today, but one of the guys that is racing the series also uh, sent me a text and said that it is the same course as round one. So hopefully I uh, won't be too much at a disadvantage not being able to practice today. So that's what we're doing now, just driving to Fontana. So I just arrived at the race venue uh, a good bit later than I had wanted to, 
but there was a lot of bad traffic added about an hour of drive time so it took a little over three hours to get here not too happy about that but uh i actually woke up at four o'clock this morning so i'm gonna be going to bed right now well good morning again everyone it's sunday now it's about six o'clock in the morning and uh i'm heading off to get some breakfast at mcdonald's so don't breakfast got my number right here and uh I've been cutting up these numbers to make them fit a little bit better in the cables and stuff. So, uh, why change that now? I guess I'll cut up this one too. All done. So this course is the exact same as round one. Uh, I only got in three runs of practice and not even a full run yet, uh, just because I've been having some camera issues. Uh, we'll see how the race run goes. So I ended up getting fifth place. You know, I think I did as good as I was going to do on uh, that run. But there was a lot more people in my class this time. There was uh, 11 people rather than the five or six that were in it every time that I actually do good in the race. Not too disappointed in that, but I would like to do better. I'm on my way down to Jensen USA right now, the bike shop, uh, to get some brakes for my new bike frame that I got uh, Friday. So. Uh, need to get some brakes for it and some other little knickknacks. So that's where I'm going right now. So I got the parts in this bag right here. Uh, got some Magura brakes and I had to get the brake rotor separate but I got everything so uh, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and teleport back home okay well uh, that's kind of interesting it looks like I already made it back home before I even said I was going to teleport so that's pretty cool I'm sorry guys, but uh, I got kind of distracted whenever I got home putting those brakes on the bike. So here I give you all a little preview. Uh, here's the front brake. Had to shorten up the hose to make it the right length. There's the rear brake. And uh, it's all coming together. So all I need now is my seat post and a chain. And then it'll be good to go. Speaking of good to go, uh, I'm going to go make this video that you're watching, so that'll be it for this weekend. See you next time.